Hi everyone, today we're going to review a KXK SII7. Okay, so what are we looking at with this instrument? We're looking at what looks to be a three-piece maple neck that goes through the body. We have mahogany body wings. We have an ebony fretboard with 27 stainless steel frets. We have a fan fret multi-scale design that is 25 and a half inches on the treble side and 27 inches on the bass side. Reverse inline headstock with Spurzel locking tuners. The bridge is a proprietary KXK design but it utilizes hip shot bridge saddles. And speaking of proprietary designs, the pickups are designed by X KXK, wound by KXK for KXK guitars. So like with another KXK guitar that I reviewed in a previous video, I really have a hard time finding anything wrong with this instrument. This is honestly just an absolutely fantastic playing and fantastic looking guitar. For starters, aesthetically we've got a beautiful transparent purple finish on a flame maple top here. Um, also with natural uh, kind of faux binding along the side. Just where it was masked off on the maple top. It looks gorgeous that way. The black hardware is a real nice touch to it. We do still have cream binding along the fretboard for maximum visibility of fret markers. The back of the neck, as you can see, is still a natural finish that is very, very nicely masked off right here with just a little bit of the clear coat of the body creeping over maybe about a quarter inch past the purple. The inlays that are on here are honestly just stickers that the guitar's current owner put on here just so that they would um, stick out a little bit better as he was playing it. The natural binding effect continues up to the headstock and I don't know about you guys but one of the things that I love, love, love is a reverse inline headstock. Just something about a guitar that has a reverse inline headstock just looks so cool and so metal to me. The guitar plays like a dream. It really is wonderful. The finish is a nice high gloss on the body, which is super comfy when you're playing it. The body does have a bit of an arch top design, but coupled with the, the high gloss finish, you know, it's not something where your hand is just kind of s sticking to it. Like, it doesn't have that gym floor feel, if you know what I mean. It's just nice and smooth. There is a nice uh, kind of beveled edge along the back here, which 
makes it nice and comfortable whenever you're going up to the higher register frets to do any sort of soloing. The uh, Speaking of kind of a bevel design, I don't know if you can see that, but on the back of the headstock, there's this little kind of groove where normally on most instruments there would be maybe like a scarf joint of some sort. It, I don't know what purpose it serves other than it looks really, really cool and it's just kind of comfortable when you're sliding up to it and your thumb kind of hits it on the back of the neck. Let's you know, hey, guess what? You've run out of real estate. Here's where the nut is. So if that's the purpose it serves, cool. If not, hey, added bonus. If there's absolutely anything that I could call out as being a negative of this instrument, because you know me, I'm trying to find something I don't like about this guitar so I can point it out to you. I would say that this particular instrument just could have done with just a little bit of extra sanding or maybe finer sanding on the back of the neck down here by the upper register frets. This little section right here is just a little bit rough to the touch and was finished over. But, you know, that being said, I wouldn't say that it affects playability at all. I would say that it's just one of those things that you just kind of notice when you're inspecting the instrument and whatever, you move on and you keep playing. Getting to how this instrument sounds, I think that this is something that is very, very complex with this instrument. You know, it's a subject of much debate that, you know, where does the tone come from? Does it come from the pickups or does it come from the wood and the materials? I'm very much half and half. I think that it a lot of it does come from the pickups, like the clarity and the EQ focus. But I think that a lot of the resonance as well as certain tonal characteristics do come from the tone woods that are present on each individual instrument. In this particular case, I think that the materials that were used to craft this guitar, that is the bright, or I shouldn't say bright, that's the positive as far as how this guitar sounds. The mahogany body wings coupled with the all maple neck and the ebony fretboard tend to give it a nice balance tone-wise. It's resonant, it's got plenty of low end thanks to the mahogany, but it's also got plenty of cut thanks to the ebony and the maple neck. So it's it's not lacking for really anything across the board. Um, where I do think it's a little bit lacking is in terms of the pickups themselves. I think that they're articulate, I think they've got a fairly good tone to them, but I think it I think it just kind of cuts a little bit too much. It, it's a little too tight. There's not too much low-end power coming from the pickups, in my opinion. When you hit a palm mute, it just doesn't hit you in the chest like a really, really awesome metal pickup ought to. It sounds very genty, not so much metal, which is why the song you heard at the beginning of this video was more gent than anything else. I mean, trying to play metal on it. Do you hear how it's got just kind of a slightly nasally tone to it on that bridge pickup. It it just sounds a lot better when you're doing something a little bit more genty with it. As far as the neck pickup goes,
the neck pickup is not it is not leaving a bad taste in my mouth. It's not quite as vintagey as something I normally go for, but it's definitely got that kind of modern vintage tone to it. I would say like could you put it up against maybe a Seymour Duncan Jazz, for example? Absolutely. I think it's got a, a kind of similar tone to that. Um, not quite as vintage sounding as maybe a Seymour Duncan Sentient or a DiMarzio PAF Pro. But yeah, it's, it's just that kind of modern vintage tone that works really, really well on a guitar that has 24 frets. So... Yeah, I, I kind of dig the neck pickup, at least a little bit more than the bridge pickup. In conclusion, what do I think? I think this guitar is badass, that's what I think. Don't get me wrong, there's things on it I would change, for sure the pickups, but I mean, this is a guitar that I could definitely see myself owning at some point. It just, it plays super duper nice, it's really inspiring when you play it. I mean, the song that I had at the beginning of the, of the video, that was something that just kind of flowed right out of me, which that's always a good sign. When you pick up a guitar, you come up with one thing and then you come up with something else that follows it. And then sooner or later, you're coming up with pretty much an entire song idea just from picking up that one perfect instrument. You know, to me, those are the best instruments, the ones that just really, really inspire you to be a better player and a better songwriter right when you pick it up. And I don't know if that's something necessarily quantifiable, but that is something that is a vibe I get from this guitar. And to me, that's what makes this guitar indispensable. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns about the instrument or about the review itself, about the way I conduct the review, anything like that, please let me know in the comments section below. Please give this video a like and please subscribe to my channel. Lots more new stuff on the way. Um, if you guys have any suggestions of stuff that you want to see coming up, please let me know. I've got a long list that I'm starting to formulate with uh, different ideas and stuff that I want to go over, but if you guys have something that you would really like me to cover, please let me know. I'm all ears. Thank you so much for watching, and check out my next video once it comes out. For the moment, check out my old videos.